The use of technology and texting the videos has really been successful for my family. My daughter, Allie, has a lot of stuff that's going on that just happens throughout the day that not necessarily is going to happen at scheduled meetings. So I can video that to get her speech therapist input while I'm at home and while in the situation, while these things are going on. When working with a child with feeding and swallowing disorders, it's really not prudent to wait between visits because with feeding and swallowing, things happen very rapidly. So the important piece of that is to have me get some information and then be able to get back immediately to that family so that they can start making changes in what they're doing with their child. Prior to doing any kind of videoing with families, we talk to them and make sure they're comfortable with it. We get their consent and we assure them that all these videos are going to be kept very private. Usually, if I'm feeding Allie, my husband will capture it on my phone. Or if my husband's feeding, I take the video of him. If I'm spoon feeding Allie, a lot of times I will video it while I'm spoon feeding if there's no one else home. And then I will send a text message to Ginger. This is what's going on. Can you help me? Um, and then she'll just usually text right back. Prior to any of this conversation, I've already evaluated the child. I've had hands on. I know how she feels in my hands. I know what her trunk support capabilities are. And I know where we need to go for safety and nutrition. The family will send me a text saying that a video is coming. I can look at the video. I can give immediate feedback to that family. Sometimes we'll go back and forth two or three times with texting or even shooting other videos. And then once the family is comfortable and I'm comfortable, then we part company from the, the tech and I contact them or they contact me when something else comes up. There's a lot of times that um, when Ginger's at my house that my daughter Allie um, won't do something that she does for me often or our appointment might be scheduled in the middle of the day when it's not a typical feeding time. They can video me segments of snack time, meal times, daddy feeding, grandma feeding, mommy feeding, which gives me real information about what that child is doing when they are hungry and ready to eat. So for example, these are some videos that Lauren has sent me to give me some ideas of how her daughter is feeding. This is one about a refusal. So this shows me that she's able to use a pacifier and that the pacifier soothes her. What is of concern is when the bottle comes into her mouth, she looks like she's ready to attach, that she wants to eat, but then she's refusing. That leads me to believe that there may be something going on other than an oral feeding type issue, which led us ultimately to a referral to ear, nose, and throat and to gastroenterology. Allie was diagnosed with reflux and she was put on medications, which then allowed us to move forward the texting and the videoing really increases the quality of services because I'm able to be with them several times a day if that's what's necessary. It's instantaneous. They have a problem, they want to share something with me, it happens immediately and I can get back to them. This really helps me because if there's an issue going on at that moment, I don't have to wait when our face-to-face -face appointment is. This way I can get immediate feedback and we can start working right then to hopefully see progress sooner than we would if I had to wait that two or three weeks. I've been a practicing speech pathologist for over 40 years and knowing what I know today, I cannot imagine continuing my work without using videotaping, of being able to contact families throughout the week, being in touch with them more regularly, let's step up and use the technology that we have available.